you've got pets, there's a good chance you've got pet hair, like everywhere. And that can be a real nuisance. Or it can be magnificent. That's why I'm joined by Hackmaster Jeannie Zonka. She's gonna show us how to turn pet hair into high fashion. You go, girl. I'm going. This is Hackmasters. Jeannie, you own Knit Your Dog. I do. Which is a company that turns what some people would say is unwanted fur into fashion. Oh, yes, yeah. absolutely. I never wanted to waste the stuff. And then about 25 years ago, I saw a woman on TV talking about a book she'd written about knitting with dog hair. And I thought, Eureka! Well, Jeannie, I see brushes. We're gonna need some fur. Kevin, meet Chloe. Oh, hi, Chloe. Hi. She is one of my chow chows. Okay, I think we found the source of our raw material. We can make a whole fall line out of her. Yes, you can. So step one, I get big furry dog. Step two is brush the dog. What we're gonna be looking for here is the woolly stuff underneath. This right. is the undercoat. So these are slicker brushes. You see they have these little tiny wires in them. Yeah. And they go way down and they get in the coat. Really brush. All right, I'm gonna get in there. Holy sweetheart, I want you to guide me. Chloe, if you understand what I'm saying, stare blankly into the distance. Is Chloe in like a special place right now because she's angry and wants to maul me? If she doesn't like it, she'll let you know. Do you love me, Chloe? Whisper me a bomb in your sweet dog language. You see, now you've got this whole big thing, okay? So I've got about a week's worth of brushings from Chloe here. Oh, Chloe, you've been busy, girl. This will just go into kind of a tepid water, and you just use a little dog shampoo. And it doesn't take too much, depending on how dirty the dog is. This is some of Chloe's hair, already washed and dried. Cheapo slicker brushes from the big box pet store. Just like you brushed it off of the dog, you're gonna brush it off of the second brush. And it's gonna align those fibers. Okay, so we've got some wool. We've lined all the fibers, but how do we get from wool to sweater or scarf or chaps? This has to be spun into yarn. And for that, you use a spinning wheel or a drop spindle, which okay. does everything a spinning wheel does, just slower. So we're ready, just like any good dubstep anthem, for the drop. The drop spindle. <laughs> Do we need a clean workspace for the drop spindle? Uh, yeah, Chloe doesn't need to be here for this. That's your 15 minutes, they're up, sweetheart. That is a wrap on Chloe. <laughs> so that is the drop spindle. It is. You start with a piece of string or yarn that you already have, and it doesn't matter what it looks like. We're just gonna use this piece of yarn to start the process, and when you spin, it's gonna twist it up. You wanna get this as thin as you can, and you're just gonna continue to pull this out without pulling it apart. So we take the fibers of Chloe's hair and then we spin them into thread? Yeah, after you get a couple things full of this, then you ply it. And when that's done, you have oh, wool that. that can yeah, be I mean, knit like anything. That looks like anything I would see at a craft store. It's actually really amazingly soft. In terms of, again, resilience to the elements, stands up to a wool or any other material? It's 50% warmer than sheep. Chloe, you're a sweetheart. So gentle. Well, I know you don't want to let go of her. So we brought you a watch cap. This is from Chloe to you. That is amazing. Go ahead. A little piece of Chloe with me. I cannot thank you enough for my delightful gift. You and Chloe are both absolute angels. And I got to tell you, Jeannie Zonka, you're a hack master. Why, thank you, yeah. sir.